Well, Betsy, now we move on to COVID and the Cleveland Browns. And after a week of chaos, things are gradually beginning to return to some sort of normalcy. The big news today, <laughs> head coach Kevin Stefanski is COVID clear. He's returned to the team along with three other players. Sports anchor Nick Camino joins us now in studio. Nick, that's good news, but they still have some pretty big names that are out. Yeah, good evening, Jay. Have we recovered from Monday yet? I don't know if I'm there yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been a crazy week, a crazy couple of weeks with everything going on with the Browns. But yeah, as you mentioned, the Browns are still missing some key players. Think about Baker Mayfield, even his backup Case Keenum. And then you add to that Jarvis Landry, Kareem Hunt. The Browns still don't have those guys. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Now, saying all that, this is not official official or anything like that, but I do think that by Saturday in Green Bay, the Browns will have some of those guys. But as you pointed out, this was great to see today. Kevin Stefanski is going to be back on the sidelines for the Browns. He's off of the COVID-19 list, out of his basement, back on the sidelines. Good news, that had to drive him crazy the other night, having to watch that from afar and not be there with the team. But again, I would hope that Baker and Keenum, some of these guys will be back by Christmas Day, or it could be more of what we saw on Monday against the Raiders. But we talked to Stefanski today on a Zoom call. He met with the media, and you can just tell he's ready to just get preparations amped up for Saturday's showdown with the Packers at Lambeau Field. Good to be back. You know, obviously working remotely is something that we all did a bunch of last year, so it's definitely doable to work remotely and game plan remotely, run meetings, et cetera, but uh, good to be back uh, in person. Well, Jay, great to have the head coach back. I will say this, though. Um, I was, I'm a little bit surprised. And again, you can't predict any of this with COVID-19. We've learned that over the last two years. But in saying that, I was just a little surprised that we're at a point where Baker's still not back. His backup isn't back. And, you know, last week when the word came down Monday that it was going to be Nick Mullins, there was a part of me that was pretty surprised, too, that because of those revamped protocols, that those guys were not back off the COVID list. So I'm a little bit surprised by the developments today. Hopefully by tomorrow or Friday, we get some better news. Yeah, I think you're not alone. We all expected that this would happen a little bit sooner than it has. But it's very interesting, Nick, when you look at how hard the Browns were hit, the, the Rams, also the Washington football team had some pretty serious COVID losses. But this is going to hit all 32 teams at some point or another. It really yeah. is. And right now, Cuyahoga County has the third fastest rate of this new variant spread throughout the United States. So the conventional wisdom here is the Browns have taken their biggest hit. Yeah. That's the other hit. teams out there are still to be hit. And that could be key as the Browns look forward because they've got three games left in the regular season. And just today, the Packers lost a key piece to their <laughs> offense. Receiver Marquez Valdez-Scantling, who is their deep threat. He's the guy that can take the top off opposing defenses. He is positive and in a COVID protocol, so he likely will not play in Saturday's game. At some point, this is going to hit just about every team in the league. Uh, it's a good point. You don't want it to ever hit your team, no, but if it's going to, now might be the time. We're also seeing the Chiefs deal with this, Kelsey right? and Tyreek Hill also, and they've got the Steelers this weekend. Yeah, so. Two huge losses Absolutely. for Kansas City. All right, Nick, thanks. We'll you see you it. soon.